Hey guys, I'm Michael Allen for TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Do you know TravelCostaRicaNow.com was a travel agency? But who cares? We need to get through this coronavirus thing first. But afterwards, what better way to celebrate than come down to Costa Rica because you know it's going to be super cheap. Airlines, super cheap. Everything in Costa, Costa Rica, super cheap. And let us hook that up for you. We're like you guys having best friends who live in Costa Rica, totally hooking up your Costa Rica vacation. All right, guys, it's March 19th, 20. This is like an update and some observations uh, about the coronavirus, where we're at right now. All right, so as you can see, D'Angelo's been ready for the coronavirus for, I think, like two, two months. Two months. <laughs> All right, um, first thing I want to tell you guys, you know we have some Airbnbs. We have some apartments right here in the middle of La Fortuna, right next to the park. And right now for the next three months, probably until May, it's going to be like us helping you help us. If you're stuck in Costa Rica as a tourist or maybe you're kind of short on money and you need a place to stay, stay we got apartments, Netflix, air conditioning, the whole thing. Um, for super, super cheap, like 50% off. We're talking about $350 or so, maybe plus electric, not sure, for a month. Now, we're not looking for any one day, two day things. This is people that need a longer term stay. Maybe they're stuck in Costa Rica. Maybe they just need a cheaper option. Whatever the reason, email us and we see if we can to hook that up. This is first come, first serve. They'll be clean. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be clean. They'll be coronavirus free. All right, so anyway, the cutoff date for tourists arriving in Costa Rica was actually, uh, I think, yesterday, March 18th. And it just so happens we had two friends that arrived. They are not residents here. They live here, but they do not have their residency. And they did come in yesterday. Now, the, and, they, and, and it was fine. And the only thing they have to do is they have to self-quarantine when they get here. And actually, they both do live in uh, La Fortuna. So it wasn't like they take you aside and, I don't know, put you in a room for two weeks. So it's a, a self-imposed quarantine. And they said they had no problems coming in, and this was very, very last minute. All right, so first of all, I want to thank Cindy from uh, Gracia, who's keeping me updated on some of this coronavirus stuff, and our friends at Outlier Legal as well. Uh, first off, if you're a tourist and you came into Costa Rica after December 17th, you are good until you could stay here legally till May 17th. Now, if you came in prior to December 17th, I think you need to get out around April 20th, I believe. After that, you might be in for some trouble. But anyway, anyway, look down at the description. I, I have a thing from our friends at Outlier, Outlier Legal that are uh, is a more detailed. Uh, what's going on right now as we speak. Obviously, that will be updated as things change, right? So uh, check that out because I don't want to get into all the uh, specifics of the residency, trying to get your immigration papers, all that kind of stuff right now. You can just go down to the description and check it out. All right. The tourists here, I wanted to, some observations, man. Here in La Fortuna, the tourists are walking around <laughs> acting like there's no problems. They're doing their thing. They're going on their activities. Uh, everything is fine. And when they leave, I guess, you know, they leave. Uh, and they'll be able to easily leave Costa Rica. So that's really not a problem. Uh, I think Monday they, they start closing. Uh, they're going to start closing in national parks. Uh, everything, the gym closed down today. So, I mean, they're starting to get into that. And I would say pretty soon the tourists, probably next week, they're going to really be thin and this La Fortuna in particular probably becomes somewhat of a ghost town. Now, the residents here, I can't speak for all of Costa Rica, but I can tell you that the residents here are probably like any country that has coronavirus, which is getting to almost all of them or whatever, are kind of acting like it's not here yet. You know, you don't see anybody walking around it's except here. for him. It's here. <laughs> uh, you don't see anybody walking around with masks on yet. Uh, you don't see any hoarding. You can go to the grocery store and there's uh, plenty of ways to wipe your ass. Plenty of materials there. Nobody's hoarding the toilet paper. Get uh, Japanese toilet seat. <laughs> Dude. All right. So, none of, so, but that's how Costa Rica kind of is. They kind of do that head in the sand approach anyway on a lot of things. 
but I'm sure in about, I, I'm guessing around 10 days, this thing is going to get a lot more serious. The numbers are obviously going to go up. They're going to double the whole thing. So uh, that's how it's going right now. Pretty much people are acting like nothing is going on for the most part. You see a few people uh, maybe buying more rice and beans than they would normally buy. We're telling you that it's going to get serious, just like it is in the United States and a lot of other places. So be safe, man. Stay, st keep yourself to yourself. Keep your distances. Wash your hands. Do all those things, man. Come on, be safe. Costa Rica, if you want to come down here, we'll think about that in three months. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm Michael Allen, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Peace, guys. Be safe. And remember, if you're interested in those apartments here in La Fortuna, email us. Email us. First come, first serve. That's D'Angelo saying goodbye. <laughs>